There we go. Clockwork Aquaria Ultra Collector's Edition. <clears throat> Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be unboxing the Clockwork Aquaria Ultra Collector's Edition. This game has set a Guinness World Record for the longest time between starting development and final release. My main interest for this title stems from another game from back in the day, Wonder Boy 3 The Dragon's Trap. It was my favourite Master System title of the day. And as it turns out, Clockwork Aquario is actually from the same developer. Needless to say, when I heard Weststone had a long lost title that never saw the light of the day and that strictly limited game were bringing it back to life, I jumped at the chance to get the Ultra Collector's Edition. With that said, let's head over to the table and get unboxing to see what's inside. All right, here we go. It's actually a fairly big box. Uh, as you can, might be able to get an idea here, even though I'm shooting from the top down. And I've had this for a bit over a month, but I haven't had a chance to open it. so. Looking forward to getting into it and seeing what's inside. All right, I've got my box cutter for cutting boxes. Some strictly limited tape on the outside. Pull this fell out. Ugh. Clockwork Aquario in bubble wrap. And this is the Ultra Collector's Edition, which is a little bit different to the Collector's Edition. The first indication of that is how massive this box is. <laughs> wow. All right, so I got myself a little strictly limited sticker, a Clockwork Aquario, Aquario sticker, and a neat little postcard there on the outside. I'm not sure if these were actually officially in there or not, but this box is pretty cool. It's got some graphic on the su graphics on the side, neat little bit on that side as well. And some of the characters all happening there in the in different sides of the box. The lid's upside down now, but there we go, Clockwork Aquaria Ultra Collector's Edition. So let's uh, flip it over and uh, slice it open. And we'll pop this over here and I might pop some of this stuff over there. Cool. All right, so I believe, oh. This could be the arcade uh, board, the arcade board box, or the box that's meant to be like the arcade board. We've got Weston on the side here, developer. Interesting to see what's inside there. We'll put that over here for a second. And then uh, see what else is in here. This is gonna be is worse than oh trying to open apple kit it's pretty snug two hours later now the box is empty so kind of ripped it a little bit but there's our ultra collector's edition big box we got this guy this is the main reason you get the uh, ultra collector's edition so let's pop this guy open and see what he's like. Ah, it comes in little pieces. So maybe I'll quickly pop this together and show you. I don't know their names at the moment. I haven't played it yet. Straight away, I've broken it. <laughs> so, 
There you go. Hold it down here and I'll zoom in on another stage. But that is pretty cool. It's got the three characters. See, it's pretty big. It's about, I think it's 18 centimeters or thereabouts. And that'll be a pretty cool memento to have on the shelf. Let's pop this fella aside for a bit. All right, we've got the big guy out of the way. Now let's look at the rest of it. There's a few items different to the collector's edition that you may have seen already. This is the PlayStation 4 version. West One or West Home. When I was a kid, I used to call it West One because there was a password in Dragon's Trap that you typed in to unlock something. And here's the PS4 version of the Ultra Collector's Edition. We'll pop that open in a second. And we'll look in here. Like that fancy but a strictly limited paper. We have a cool art book. So go through in a sec. And once upon a time, this was going to be an arcade. And this was probably going to be the instructions that uh, could have been back in the day. That's pretty cool. Jump, grab, and throw it away. For those who don't know, the game style is a bit like, you know, Super Mario Brothers with a throwing mechanic, and the art style is a bit like the Wonder Boy or Monster World games, the later ones especially. But um, yeah, this I'll flick through this quickly, which is the art book. Cool stuff to uh, read in there. It's got very high resolution character art, some of the original drawings for the art. Very bright and colorful. Reminds me of uh, Monster World War with Asha. Probably from this very similar time it was originally developed in 91-92 and then they play tested it in the arcades in about 93 and by 94 they pulled it out of the arcades because they weren't happy with the results uh, it seems like the industry yeah, that's funny. the industry had moved on to 3d games like Virtua Racing and Virtua Fighter and a lot more 1v1 Street Fighter style arcade games. Enemy art. So when I get around to actually playing it, <clears throat> I'll see these enemies, I guess. Story animation. Cool. ending. No spoilers. Some cool logos. Oh yeah. See the development of the logo itself. System 18. Yeah so this game was designed on the System 18 arcade board which is the same one as uh, Shadow Dancer and a few other classic Se Sega titles. Not if I have a list handy. Yeah, so there was a lot of uh, titles on the system, quite famous titles on the System 18 board. Um, the board itself had some titles from about 1989 to 92. And games like uh, Shadow Dancer and Alien Storm and Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, like a souped up version of a Mega Drive. And um, this. The effort they went to with this uh, game was to push that, 
push that system as hard as they possibly could and the graphics themselves probably above and beyond what those previous titles were so it's a pity it never actually got released all right that's the art book let's get into the meat and potatoes as they say developer West Stone originally was called Escape and they changed the name from Escape because they thought it was unreliable and they became West Stone, West Stone for a long time. West Stone being the, uh, the combination of the two founders names Ryuchi, Ryuchi Nishizawa, Nishizawa, Nishi being West and uh, Ishizuka with Ishi being stone, so West Stone was the name. And then uh, later on again, it uh, was updated to West Stone Bit Entertainment. Uh, all right, this is a magnetic type job. Very cool. There's quite a lot of stuff in these, uh, <laughs> in these uh, Strictly Limited Games collector's packs I've got. The remix soundtrack here. The actual, the game itself was pretty much forgotten, but the soundtrack was actually released. Um, here's the soundtrack again, I don't know if you can catch that. This is the original soundtrack, remix soundtrack, little cards with the, with the three guys in them. Ellie Moon, Huck Londo. Sounds like a Star Wars, Star Wars name and Gush, the robot, in the cards. Cool. Here's uh, like, an, a, like a, a coin, like an arcade coin. Not that the uh, arcade would have used this specific kind of coin with their logo on it. We'll zoom into that later. Ooh, 100. It might mean 100 yen to play the game, yeah? Got a pin. I think the Ultra Collector's Edition has this pin and the Collector's Edition does not. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Again, I'll zoom in for this. Oh, I can't get it out. It's all sealed in. But anyway, here's the pin. What else have I got? Man, it keeps going. Uh, ah, yes, this is the PVC little diorama. Thing. I'll pop a little picture of that. I don't want to necessarily go through all this and rush it and break this one. <laughs> a few minutes later. Some arcade style instructions, you know, these would have been enlarged and possibly put on the arcade unit um, for instructions and, and that sort of thing. Uh, if the arcade ever was released. Basic actions, useful items. I'll have a read of that later to see before I play it. Oh, a cool little banner sticker. Another little sticker. Ah, wow. This is cool. This is, I forget what this is called. It's these little um, traditionally Japanese written things. And I guess this is a print, but it has all these signatures on it. Let me find out what it's called. And this is a shikishi. So these are often sought after collector's items. I don't know if this is just a print or they literally signed this. It looks very much like it's been signed by 
some of the development team, I don't know. That's very cool. With gold back on it. Little sticker set. Oh, and a super zoomed in poster, I believe. Really quite blurry, but maybe when you look at it far away, not so bad. It was up on the wall, but uh, I love the I love the artwork for sure. On the other side, got a much more high res logo. There you go. And because it's an ultra collector's edition, there's only 499 of these made for the PS4. I think there was a thousand made, and this is number 187 of 499. Certificate of Authenticity. Getting to the bottom of it. The game. Quickly zip open the game. Got it for the PS4. Two reasons, I have a PS4 and a PS5. And I don't have a Switch. But also, this edition, um, there's only 499 of them as opposed to the Switch version, which has about a thousand of them. So. And this game is available on digital right now. Actually, one thing I forgot to mention is that this game is available on digital. It's also available, uh, I believe it's still available at the Strictly Limited store with the just the regular collector's edition. And to my knowledge, the ultra collector's edition is also in, still in stock. Um, I'll put the links in the description below. If you're interested, you can go check it out. Cool, we've got the game. And another little instruction. I think I already have one of these from before, um, earlier in the video. But you can buy this game right now uh, on, in digital format. But Ultra Collector's Edition is pretty cool. Got all those bits and pieces, cool mementos, really neat art book. And the, the main reason you get it is this really cool PVC style statue, which is <laughs> pretty big, except I broke it. I'll have to glue this one together again. But there you go. Clockwork Aquario, Ultra's Collector's Edition. See you in a second and we'll finish up. I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Please go ahead and drop the comment ultra loving tech life at the bottom of the video and check out this next video you might be interested in watching and I'll see you in the next one.